Hey students, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to emulate the lead line from Wylan by Paper, Diamond, and Loud Puck. Uh, this is a sawtooth lead with a little bit of distortion and a lot of portamento. So it's pretty fun. So we'll get right into it. We'll start a new patch. And for the first oscillator, we're going to choose math, rough math number two. Uh, and the second oscillator will enable, and we can leave it on square saw one. This one I'm going to raise up 12 semitones like that, and this one just a couple of cents up, and then this, this one a couple of cents down. Now, we're going to go to the voicing page here, choose mono rotate and trigger as always, and also want to increase the unisono to two, just to beef it up a little bit. Now to the oscillator page here. We'll have the glide time, the traversal mode on equal. Uh, and we're going to probably want to increase this a little bit. So the line is something like this. All right, so too much portamento. Something like that, OK? Uh, but we can tune up these uh, settings a little bit. We'll send both of these to filter one and we'll choose a band pass. We just want to have a cutoff maybe right out there and a nice small bandwidth. Probably right about there is fine. Okay. And now uh, we need to apply for insert number one, a sign shaper, and we can just add full distortion there. Okay, uh, just like that. And for FX1, we'll also put a classic tube on, warm it up a little bit. And for FX2, a reverb, bring this down a little bit, a little more size, density and color, probably right like that. All right. Uh, I'm going to change this to Parabolic Shaper because the Sign Shaper was a little too dirty. I mean, you can choose Sign Shaper. Something like that. A little less size on that reverb. Just fine-tuning some of these parameters here a little bit. All right, now let's take envelope number one and put it on the pitch of our two oscillators. We can drop this uh, down just about three. And we're just going to create that quick kind of sweep up. All right, so just like that, pretty close. We just used two oscillators, and really the key is having that nice long portamento time playing that line. A little distortion with the sign shaper and the classic tube, and of course, all that reverb. Then we set up the filter number one to have this band pass with a very, very thin bandwidth and the cutoff frequency about right here. And uh, that's basically the patch. So there you go. That is Wylin by Paper Diamond and Loud Puck. Save that one. See you in the next lecture.